I'm pretty sure of you met a rager, a feeder, an EFK GGFF PP20 boy, well someone you pretty much hate playing with in a game. And then after that harsh match you want to move on, join a queue to start a fresh game and try to have fun once again but no, you see that same little bitch that almost broke your mind. Bitching time, we queue with the same people. Should you dodge? Should you stare down and argue with him? Should you turn everyone against him to piss him off? Here's the answer to that million dollar question. I don't know. But I can at least tell you this. Do not rub salt in a wound or add fuel to the fire or beg your mom all day to buy you a Kit Kat until you receive a kick in the butthole. If you don't want to dodge the game, do not cry all day and chat before he does anything tribunal worthy because that's pretty much useless and you'll just spend your time typing instead of playing. Sorry dude, but if you do that, I think you got the wrong game. This isn't an online dating scene. If the person you hate is a rager, a jerk, a unfriendly mother bitch that goes AFK after first blood, a guy that does things to intentionally ruin your day, he will naturally get reported by your teammates because he really is trying to ruin everyone's fun. If your target repeats the same action again, then you can tell others to report him in hopes of getting him punished. It doesn't have to be a perma ban, it can be a warning or a one day ban. You report him once for his dick behavior, let the community do the rest. There's nothing else you can do, bringing a mumu to the forums won't do jack shit. But if you type and type just to point your finger at him before he shows his true color, you're the one that will attract attention. In a bad way. ATTENTION whore. But remember that every champion is controlled by a human being and the reason why he's feeling or acting like a motherfucker might be related to things happening to him in real life. You all went AFK at least once because your internet provider decided to troll you or there was a power outage because your mom didn't pay the bills or your dog can plug your computer. You all rage at least once because you had a bad day since your girlfriend didn't want to make you a sandwich or your boss got mad at you at work or your dog unplugged your computer. You all fed more than once because you were not in top shape uh, or you were learning a new champion or your dog unplugged your computer. Did you like it when people slap you in the face with a report when something unfortunate out of your control happened to you when you went AFK, fed or rage? I've been in this kinds of situation on both sides of the party. I won't try to save my face by hiding behind a mask. Uh, I rage at people, I'm toxic sometimes, I feed all day. Uh, I'm a bad guy, you're a bad boy, but we are not brainless pedal bears. Let's stop being hypocrites doing things to our peers we would hate to be victim of. Speaking of hypocrisy, I remember being matched up for a second time with the exact same thing from a previous game where we stumped the other team, no problem. We laugh about it, we cheer each other, we were a happy family. Until we start losing. And hell, we got wrecked like no tomorrow and we all bitch at each other, blame everyone of feeding, uh, told the other team to report this, report that. <laughs> well, you can picture the insult slugfest, right? That's just sad, isn't it? For sexy furious sake, we got a 50% chance of winning or losing. If I receive a big mic every time I saw people blaming others for a loss, I could fill up the entire White House with all the hamburgers I got for free. TLDR, before you suck people's dicks to turn them against an individual you hate from a previous game, think about why he did that hateful thing. Maybe it wasn't intentional. That's it for today, people, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, Sue!